Days after petroleum was discovered at a Red Hill school, community members are questioning just how far contaminated waters have gotten. KITV Force Kristen Concilio joins us live tonight after hearing from lawmakers and community members anxious for answers. Kristen. That's right, Rick Mika. Both the Navy and Department of Health are still awaiting test results from samples taken earlier this week from the Navy's water system. But with limited information, neighbors are worried whether their water is safe. Foster Village resident Randy Galarsa says he's concerned about tainted water in his own faucet sinks. Because it's so close, yeah, and you know, and then you know, you hear the information after the fact. So by the time you get the information, you probably drink, you know, water and you could get sick. And sometimes you just use tap water, you know, fill up the jug with ice, and you know, but now you gotta kind of wonder, you know, you kind of before you wasn't looking at your water, now you do. Lawmakers are also wanting to know just how widespread is the contamination. We still don't have definitive information as to what communities are actually affected by that. Uh, the Department of Health has not been um, timely as to getting us that information and that they said many of the civilian homes will have to check who they're paying their water bills to. State Representative Sonny Ganandin says he's hoping the Navy will be more transparent in communicating the dangers to both families on the Naval base as well as the civilian population. We are really concerned that the Halava shaft, which represents around 20% of Honolulu's water supply, has been reduced significantly by the Board of Water Supply. If petrochemicals are found in that shaft, that could lead to a cascade of other issues. Lawmakers were hoping to get test results today. We don't want to panic our community. We don't want to put out information that is not accurate and people start to panic to think that the water system is not you know, from the border water supply that is not safe to drink. At the same time, if there are concerns, then we want to know about it. Meanwhile, military families are still in limbo. They are fighting for their basic necessities almost five days in with no answers from the Navy on how they can bathe their children, wash their dishes, do their laundry, and basically focus on the lives that they need to lead and many of them continue to put their lives on the line for a lot of us. So we are now lawmakers are working to open local schools and gyms where affected residents can shower and use the restroom. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.